Hello, and welcome back to the Nerd Cave Inc. We're going to be continuing our session from last week. And here are our players for the night. Frick, the Goblin Rogue, being played by Joey. Splug, the Goblin Barbarian, being played by Ichi. Hart, the Kobold Druid, being played by Dennis. Sophie Wolfsbane, the Human Druid, being played by Bella. John Harden, the Human Gunslinger, being played by Josh. And the newest player tonight, Meowdy, the Cat Folk Cavalier, being played by Maddie. And I'll be your DM tonight, Keegan. Let us enter Providence. We last left off. Our entire party, save for Hearth, got themselves thrown in prison for more or less attempted manslaughter. However, the <laughs> local warden, nice. the local warden, gave them the options to basically buy their freedom by going out on a quest and completing it without the charge. Unless, of course, they bring the man back alive. Everyone wish to proceed? Are we still locked in the cells? Yep, yep. Well, yes. Let's However, see. it is becoming yeah. morning soon. Alright, there's a Khajiit-looking thing. It's a tiny little cat. It's about, you know, four feet tall. <laughs> still tall than Splug. <laughs> I'm tiny. Like, maybe four feet. Well, probably around three. I'm tiny. You're a cat folk. I'm a Not cat folk. Yay! We have four now. Can we can finally form the balloons. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Just hey, sitting there, licking, my it, guild. licking my little little hand oh. claw thing, you know, my taloned paw hand. You have hands, yes. And yeah. my face in the other cell. Really? <laughs> Really I thought you weren't gonna be PG there. You're in. You're I went really PG. Here's the thing, Maddie. Meowdy is in jail because yesterday she got into a bar fight. But somebody called her poo that ugly. Kelly! But but they don't know that. They don't know that yet. We're working on that. I'm just sitting there. Licking my face. There's a cat! There's a cat. I am not a cat. There's a cat. There's a cat. Hey, kitty, kitty. I am not a cat. Okay. Spooksy's cat. Cat. I'm not a cat. Not Last me. time they came in like told us that I we were going... Cat. This How, is where I was supposed Sophie to go on this quest. Well, and no scene. Well, for starters, you're going to be spending the night in the jail cell because it is about midnight at this point. So a straight, or like a large, it's about the size of a wolf. You know. Kind of oh no, just... It'll... Oh no, he's, he's not there at the moment, Maddie. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, no. They're not gonna let him just hang out. Like, there's a wolf hanging outside of one of the other cells, but there's no other animals out there. Okay, okay. It's too big. So, oh, time for sleep. Got it. I need to plug my phone in. You're all going to be going to sleep because you're all insane. Hart is the only one not in prison at the moment, and what are you doing, Hart? Okay then. Uh, Poof again? Are we gonna call him out his name? Okay then, Bella, what do you plan to do then? Um, I, I don't know. Ask someone else. Alright. Ichi, what do you plan to do? Splug is going to sleep. 
Or trying to. <laughs> so Splug just doesn't care. It's bedtime. Flop. Yep. Basically. Alright then. So, for everyone who plans to actually go to bed, you're gonna pretty much fall asleep, be a little cold, a little drafty in here, but you'll get a good night's sleep and it'll cover anything like you may have lost. Cool. Because I ended up getting hurt. Yeah, you're not the only one. <sighs> Did I get hurt in the bar fight? No, wait, you should see the other guy. Holy shit. <laughs> that sounds about right. Mugs don't fit down there. Oh. Anyhow. <laughs> the dawn fully approaches as your all group together. It's just this massive vagabond. Oh, yeah, it's a An actual Motley crew? Yes, you were an actual Motley crew. Alright then. Alright then. So Dennis, I'm, what were you doing I'm going to sleep. Were... So, what about me? What are you doing while they were all in prison for the night? Well, first, I'm gonna go over to the bartender, and I'm gonna go ask, uh, basically for some trail rack. Which, for me, it's called oh. a plate of pickled eggs. A plate of pickled eggs? A, a whole jar of pickled eggs. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks down to you real funny, like... You want an entire jar of pickled eggs. Come all to yourself, little man. Kinda, yeah. I'm looking around the bar like someone's fucking with him. Alright, then. And heads into the back room to fish out a jar of pickled eggs. And sets it on the counter. That'll be about five silver. I give him five. I give him a gold piece, because I don't have change. <laughs> you won't and, got it and bother giving the change. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after I ask him if he has a whole, um, if he, ha if he has any whole game animals. Not at the moment, no. Yeah. You know where I could get like a whole chicken or a rabbit or something. Go ask the tanner, they might have something. They're usually out after getting anything but hunts. Hey. Thank you, sir. And oh. I'm gonna go ahead to the tanner. Alright then. So you are all now who've been more or less released on bail. This just weird motley crew <laughs> with two goblins, two humans, and a cat. You've all been tasked to head south to find a man. I forgot his name already. My apologies. You're basically, you're going to be heading south to pretty much catch a runaway convict who's down south in the Briarwoods. And don't forget, we also have happen. a wolf. Yes, there is a wolf. It's about this time that there's this loud, heavy. As something is just barreling its way towards you all. What's that? I look around, uh, trying to figure out what the sound's coming from. Found it! There is the biggest, fattest white cat you have ever seen. It is like a small horse. But it's just a giant white cat. I get really excited. I stand up and perk up. I'm like, I got this. I got this all alone. You guys, you guys stand back. And then run up to it and just start tackling the fuck out of it. Uh oh. It, it just tackles her to the ground and lays on her. 
It's a big kitty. And start purring, and then I'm petting it, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Basically, I start baby talking to a big, giant, white cat. <laughs> and Kitty. Sophie starts sneezing her face off. Pardon? She allergic to cats, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be wonderful, then. Yes, especially since this cat is white. Full of allergies. Oh, good. Oh, this is, this is just wonderful. Alright! Uh, so there's... The giant white cat with the cat folk. And you're all be about to be sent south. What kind of preparation do you all want to make before you head down to face whatever the hell you're going to be facing? I would like to request some manticles from the uh, officers. What? Uh, I would like to request, like, maybe three pairs of manticles from the officers uh, for to try to bring in the uh, culprit. He nods and gives you one pair of rusty manticles. Aww. Okay, I'm sorry. And the key. Aww. Right. That comes with it. Okay. I start asking questions about the culprits, like what their tendencies are and things like that. Like oh. what we know about it. He started as a wolf, see? He had a long string of burglaries a while back. Uh, oh, what was it? Oh, uh, yeah, for my, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you see a car boy, but Josh! Yeah. Yes? You're making noises. Unnecessary noises. Just do what I do and mute it when it, you know. So yeah, for the most part, he's just got a bad record and he's constantly getting in trouble with everyone. I like your little friend over there. He just just a frick. And shoots him a dirty look. What? What did I do? You know they can they can be you know pretty pretty uh what's the word mischievous as I was and then my next question to you would be what type of terrain are we going after forest forest no, forest to the south here just south all right thank you sir mm-hmm. He just goes back to look, file through his paperwork. When we get, like, out of earshot of him, I'm like, I don't know what's his problem. It's not like I do anything bad ever. There's a little okay. devil in everybody. Oh, goodness. So we got one preparation done. Art, what are you doing right now? Like I said, I'm going over to the, the, the tanners and seeing if they have a hold anything. Alright, so there's a few skinned animals sitting on the tables. <laughs> ah, boy from the animal, what can get ya? Uh, do you have a... What what animals do you, small game do you have in pool? Got some bunny rabbit things, a uh, few squirrels, and uh, what the hell this thing is? It holds up a dead porcupine. Or the quills off the porcupine? Fuck no. Shit. That would have been funny. Fine. Okay. 
I'll take the rap. Ra- we'll take the what? Pause, everyone. Pause, pause, pause. Paused. Uh, we're going to have to rewind to the porcupine part. What happened? Actually, I don't even know if it's just rewind to the porcupine part. The computer overheated. Uh, oh, delightful. <laughs> well, Ploppy uh, Cock. Apparently, this fate does not want us to do this session. Well, fate can eat my ass. I agree. Fate usually does. Fate can't handle me because I'm lubed and ready to go, and either way, it's gonna happen. Hello. So. I can only imagine how. Continue! Mm-hmm. Okay, we can continue, guys. We can continue back to where we were, guys. Anyways. But before we continue, oh. I want to make one point, okay? Sometimes you might need to pay attention to Skype chat, because sometimes I might be fucking yelling at you in the Skype chat, okay? Okay. Now continue. Alright, look at Skype chat. Why we don't have it up while we're talking. Anyway. Still take the rabbit. Yes, I want the rabbit. How much? Uh, about silver will do. I hand him a silver and ask him if he has any uh, leather bags uh, for sale as well. Uh, I got something I made out of a hide a few days ago. This is something down here. He pulls out a sack that looks to be just made out of a boar. Okay, but you've definitely seen better. Uh, how big is it? About as big as you. Yeah. Do you have anything smaller? No. 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 no, no. Is there a leather worker nearby, or is this the closest thing? Only well, leather workers are in the actual city. Okay. Hey, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, and then I'll head towards a general store and get the rest of my things that I'm planning on getting. Alright, head towards the general store. Is it, what's everyone else's final preparations before heading south gonna be? I'm guessing none to find me. Maybe. Uh, I make sure that I have all my equipment on me. My. You are fully armed. One of your guns wasn't loaded, though. We're all out fully armed. Hmm. Yeah, they re-equipped you. Okay. I'm going to uh, reload everything. All right, then. They were still loaded. These people don't know how guns work. So remember, one, was the one not slug loaded accidentally loaded. fired off. Yeah, because they don't know how guns work either. Yep, because of that poor, poor, poor tavern goer that just got shot in the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, if I'd been aiming, he'd be dead. Well, if you were aiming, he'd be dead. Is my... Did I see that, my character? No, you've been in jail for the last few days. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I was out of jail or not. No. Okay, okay, he, I'm gonna shut up. He killed one guy and two guards with rage. Anyhow. What are you doing, Bella? Um, I suppose that I am making sure all of my stuff is still decent and putting it back on my person while sneezing. Okay. 
So Bella is having a sneezing fit and just looking over all of her there stuff. How do you have a druid who's allergic to cats? Life That's what I was saying. How do you have a goblin barbarian that has less of reading? What? Because they're an heirloom! She has to be able to read He's... somehow. Thanks, Frick. Bad Frick. You're no stealing! Like you just said, it happens. Anyhow, if that's all the preparations you're gonna make, then I guess who wants to lead the group south? I John. Know. I'll do it. Alright. Oh, by the way, that one kobold is over at the general store. It's very easy to see him. He's kind of the only one in town at the moment. The only small, scaly person in town? Kinda. He's also kind of the only person who's basically naked. <laughs> Frick, uh, uh, Frick yells out Hi friend Can I go buy that big bag and stuff You wanna do what Can I buy the big bag that he had Oh you wanna buy the big bag from the tanner Yeah Okay That'll be five gold Alright hands him the gold And on the way out I whisper to my cat And my cat Uh goes to steal the <clears throat> the one of the meat uh, the one of the rabbits oh god All right. I roll sleight of hand for him not gonna be very good but he also had no he just went up and grabbed it with his mouth uh, oh if yeah but can we uh Roll, because I know he has a plus eight to stealth. Okay, I'll roll for stealth. You rolled a one. Oh. So he I got a nine. Ball. He just walked up and just grabbed it in his maw and walked away with it. Hey, you got you gotta buy that, ma'am. Oh, sorry, sir. Casually walks up to it, pretends like nothing ever happened, and pays for it. All right. Need the silver. Alright, hands him the silver piece. Can. What? Thank you, Can. Oh, have a wonderful day. Walks out. Sure. Walks out. All right then. So, Hart, you're being more or less catcalled by the uh, the male goblin behind you. The one that's not shifty as shit. I thought it was a male goblin. It is. Splug is a male. Oh. Both of them are yeah. male. I, I could have sworn I heard him say you were a female. I thought I heard him say it too. Yeah. Uh, I, I wave high at the, the goblin, I guess. What did you do to me? I, I wave at you. Okay, well then I wave back. Unlike the water. God. Okay. So what are you getting in the general floor? Um, I'm going... Well, because this town has a lot of things for big people, I'm just going to ask for a belt pouch that I'm going to use as a backpack. Okay. That is one gold piece. I give him the gold piece, and I use that belt pouch to carry that, that jar of pickled eggs, because I don't want to carry it everywhere. <laughs> okay, you now <laughs> have a completely filled belt pouch full of pickled egg jar. Yeah. Okay, and that's about all I needed, I guess. Uh, I can't think of anything else that's pertinent. Alright then. Well, you have nothing else to do. And I guess I'll go join the the happy go lucky goblin. Very strange for goblins. Yeah. Needs more stuff. Well, join your happy motley crew. 
hit a ball with short people, then fuck you. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> so there's two humans who are just towering over these four small people now. Well then. <laughs> Hey, I'm pretty tall. I'm sitting on top of my cat. I know. Of I'm which my wolf six just... foot and you're like a foot tall munchkin. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I believe John said to be the leader, so everyone follow the leader. Where you headed, John? It was a It was a I guess I'm gonna head the way the City Watch pointed us. In south. So John is now walking directly wow. south. Full survival. We're all survival? Okay. Um. <clears throat> one second. Gotta grab my dice. Right, then. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's a group. <laughs> That's a 14 plus 5, 19. Alright then. You know which way south is. And you're now in the forest. Oh. Why is somehow a lot more sturdy? You're not getting as muddy as you were before. Every now again, you step in a puddle or two. Doesn't the way things are heading? Pretty good to start. You got a pretty clear indication of where you're going. I think you should be there for like an hour or two to be able to catch these fuckers. Uh, What's that? Uh, okay. No need to be silent. I can't tell you want to be doing. Um, um, I'm not really looking for tracks or anything. Okay. Hey, I have a question as well. Would um, yep. my knowledge local be of assistance to, uh, with my background and being a uh, rogue have give me any knowledge of the possibility of where they would be located at. Do what? Yes, actually. Okay. Want me to roll a D twenty for it? Yes. Roll a knowledge check. I am not that smart. We already knew this ahead of time. Uh, what you think? <laughs> Uh, a total of eight. The Briarwoods is a funny name. It's it kind of pokey out here. Uh, <laughs> would you like me to roll in nature? An old nature? Yes. Sure. You know All right, go ahead. The cat is kind of lingering back for the record. It's a it's a fifteen. All right, all right. What you remember of hearing about the Briarwoods and all the adventures is that they are a den of thieves. However, the trees themselves are not actually. Prickly and such, the name Briarwood comes from one of the old bandit groups known as the Briarwoods. They were a mountain bandit group that traveled down to the forest after a political uh, uprising between the bandit groups. Okay. So I'm gonna keep my hand on my on my bags. That you are. Everyone else? Um, what are we supposed to be doing? 
hunting down a man named Jeremiah. Okay, so can I use my survival check to try to find him? It's fast, yes. That's what John was getting ready to do. 21. Alright, you do find a set of tracks of a human nature. And they start to gather up more and more as they start looking like they're all heading back to one. I have a I would like I'm to sorry, I didn't to hear you. I said that you, have found, you found tracks that start leading and bunching together as though a large group was heading all to one area. And I'd like you all to know both stealth checks. Stealth check? Yes. Okay. Okay. Roll. Okay. My cat drops to the ground and rolls. <laughs> okay. But I'm pissed. 39. I got 27 for stealth. Okay. Can you roll for me? Alright, I don't know your character's actual stats. Uh, we're just rolling a d20 and calling it good. We're, we're, you know. Okay, you got a 9. Mine's a 16. Okay. Can you roll for my cat, too? Yep. They don't want to have it. Cool, they got a 16. Okay. Alright. And Dennis? Um, I'm actually gonna roll a survival check to use, uh, cobal green cobalt herbalism. Alright then. Oh, sweet. Perfect. I succeeded. Alright, where'd you go? Well, I, I rolled DC I needed to roll without modifiers, which is 20. Alright then. And then I'm gonna roll a stealth check. Alright then. That wasn't as successful. <laughs> it was... So it's a 12. 12 adjust. <laughs> okay. So, basically, you accidentally made yourself turn a different shade of red. I'm green. Uh, cat is just now a giant muddy cat, and there's a cat hanging off of it. John, what do you stealth check? Uh, I rolled a 16 with my modifiers and everything. Okay. Ouch. Both the goblins and, uh, the goblins and one, and the female human who are the only ones to tell. As everyone else basically simultaneously steps on the same twig. Is it the law? I'm stealthing. I'm climb a tree. Did you just immediately climb a tree, Dennis? Yes. More cover. Okay. All right. And there's a loud. Who's out there? That comes out of the nearby area. You all smell the smell of campfire, and can hear the shuffling of at least ten bodies. I will okay, watch. Okay, so now starts climbing a tree too. All right, uh, Matt Meowth just started climbing a tree and left a cat on the ground. Yeah. <sighs> What's everyone else doing? Everyone else? You got about so me and Frick are are stealth, right? We can't really be seen. Me, yeah, you're uh, you, and Bella are all stealth. Bella. Okay. I'm loading a sling bullet. Alright. I'm waiting for bullet. the danger. Yes, Bella? I'm waiting too, I guess. 
I'm going to s sneak off to like the right or the left side, like kind of encircling a little bit away from the massive group of people that got noticed. Yeah, there is a massive group of people who were noticed. Ah. One of them, John. I am going to take the old adage and say if your scene act like you're supposed to be there. Yeah, I'm behind it. I'm going to shout back, it's just me, John. Roll a bluff. <laughs> all right. We're all dead. Uh, 17 plus We're so dead. three. That's a 20. John? Oh, we'll go back to camp. And he starts walking away. Oh, let's yeah. me back. I hate when the rolls yep. are low. Just gonna sit here and keep being awesome. <laughs> so John's Bye. like, ah, oh, look it. God. Can I follow behind him still stealth? Yep. Nobody's really looking for you anymore. Everyone thinks it's just John. He's supposed to be here. I, I just wanted uh, to specify I'm still right, stealth right. while I'm following behind him. So is the wolf, right. but I'm staying hidden behind a tree. And I'm gonna follow oh, the man who's not from the Okay. 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 I'm going to tr Frick is going to try to get to like the edge of the clearing so he can see like how many people exactly are here. Alright. Get like a Roll small head count. Roll perception. <sighs> it's quiet. 19. Okay then. <clears throat> and I'm so. going to move towards the edge of the clearing. Okay. But through the tree, like on the trees. Alright, I'll roll your acrobatics. Uh uh. Alright. You don't even make a noise. And you don't fall and hit your face on the ground either. Alright, Frick. As you're looking around, you. S okay. As you're looking around, you see. More or less ten people. They all are sort of, uh. Got that ruffian feel to them. One of them looks like the guy you're supposed to be face hunting. And most of the people are kind of, uh. With their winding down after, uh, getting some loot. There's a busted wagon wheel in the middle of the camp burning on the fireplace. So you said uh, just one of them looks sure. like the person we're, we're looking for? Looking for a man whose name is Jeremiah. He's got a broken nose and uh, basically a mullet. So he's not a he's not a bullfrog, right? No. It was he is he a good friend of mine? No. You don't know who the fuck you people are. Oh. Darn. Oh, okay. Just double check out. This is another guy who's right now. <laughs> um, but do any of these uh, ruffians look um, match that description? Yeah. There's this really bearish looking motherfucker. He's got a broken nose, a mullet, and a large scar down his chin. Is there a tent? There's a couple tents, I'd say, yes. Um, I'm still off in the woods and everybody thinks I'm just John. They have their John, right? Yeah. Okay, I would like to shout, Hey, Jeremiah, could you come out here and help me haul this loot into camp? Roblox? Alrighty. 
That is a 18, 14 plus 4. Why well, need my help? Aren't you a big strapping long man? There's multiple sacks, dude. They're heavy. All right, your pants are last. Large, the yard, the larger gentleman starts walking out of the clearing out into the forest where you're at. All right, time to look at your really brass back. Uh, what is a crazy ass murder hell we want to do? I took a ruler. I took a ruler. Do what? Talking to the murder hobo. Alright. To all the murder hobos. How do you want to react now that your mark is right in front of you walking to the brush? We should capture him. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's east. Am I Sophie? Okay. Sophie wants to use the staff of entanglement to try to wrap around him and hold him in place. Am I above him? I'm gonna alert everybody. Okay. Entanglement's a big 40 foot sphere spell. And are you above him? Was was a meowdy word? Yes. Am I above him or like near like the above him? Yes. All right. I just jump on top of him and make sure that when I'm falling, that I hit his head so he's knocked out. Okay. You gonna try to hit him with what kind of weapon do you have? I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. We'll just go with a sword for now. Okay. The butt of the sword. The butt, mind you. And of course it's sheathed so that I don't land on it and stab myself to death. It's called a okay. pommel. Pommel, thank you. I knew the word. Alright. It smacks him back ahead and he says, Ow, what the fuck? Now what would you like to know? Is that how D and D works, by the way, Bella? What? This is how D and D works. You have to say things. If you don't say things, you don't get to do things. I did say oh. things. She did. Yeah, she, she wanted to use her staff of entanglement to trap him. I know. Him. As I was trying to tell you, there's a giant forty-foot circle of things. It's not like the staff turns into an entangling vine. It just makes a giant bubble of entanglement that everyone goes into. It casts a spell entangle, which basically just reduces movement speed to everyone in the area. I know. I know. I'm letting you know what it does. Okay. So then can I cast it like behind him so if the other bandits come they you know it affects them? Yeah. Okay. Go with that then. Alright. Clack and staff on the ground and there's this little green aura that emanates and just vanishes out into the clearing. And one second, let me check real quick. I need to roll their strength checks to see if they can get out of the entangling vines over in that area. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh, oh my, oh my God! Yay! 
Yeah. Okay. So, what is your what is your DC to cast a spell? For a first level spell, what's the spell DC say? <sighs> okay, what's your wisdoms? What's your wisdom modifier? I'm, my wisdom modifier? Yes. Four. Okay, they basically all just failed and are all being entangled by those vines. Okay, can I use my dog to bite and trip the guy? Sure. Okay. I thought I was on top of him already. You just jumped down and smacked so, him. Just double checking. Yes. This 14. is all happening simultaneously, yes? Yeah. 14 plus... I don't know. <laughs> okay, 14 I'll plus 1. Up. You think? Okay. Son of a... 16. 16 nope. total. Okay. Full dog damage. <laughs> what? Then roll the dog's damage. Also, no, Matt, Maddie, nothing okay. has happened to you. Okay, I don't. You're all, you're all getting a surprise Seven. now. Seven. Seven plus what? Okay, so eight. Okay. Eight. Okay. So he got beamed in the back of the head by the cat, and then immediately got his knee bitten by a dog. He's still standing and very grumpy looking. Well, um, I one sec. Um, all for well, the intimidation I'll... check. One second, real quick. The um the dog, it's I mean the um wolf's attack has a trip effect to it. That's what she was saying. I know. Okay. Yeah, the roll CMB that part. It doesn't automatically do it, you have to announce it, and it is something you have to roll again for. That, well, she but, said it at the beginning, it was going to bite in the trip. I know. I was waiting for the second okay. roll. Okay. Do the uh, d20 again, baby. Yeah, it didn't. It's uh, 5 plus, I think, uh, 2, so... No. Yeah. All right. So she did not trip him. She did not trip him. No. Can I try pushing him over? <laughs> so Slug's gonna go try and push him over. Are you try to do a trip attack. Kind of just like use my strength to push him over, like make him trip back over something. Are you trying to go? Trip him with your bare hands. Basically, you just trying to push him over. Do you have improved trip? I have no idea what that is. I was just going to use my strength to push him over. It's a feat that you would need to not get punched in the face as, he's try as you're trying to trip him. No, I don't think I have that. I don't see it anywhere on here. Cool. So as you go to trip him, he takes this... The mace on his I hip. Was still stealth, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but instead of doing anything stealthy, you just sprinted out to go and push him over. Oh, okay. All right. Do I need to roll. He's rolling. All right. Okay. What's your AC? AC is fuck. Where'd he go? Eighteen. Jesus Christ. Okay, he missed. <laughs> Alright, can... How does a freaking barbarian have a AC of 18? When you stop by your spot. Alright, uh... 
can frick action be to sneak uh, to his back and attack with both daggers into the his calves? Sure. All right. So, um, did he perceive my approach? No. Okay. So give me a second. I'll roll attacks. Because he can't roll that high. Okay, just was making sure. <sighs> okay. Out of curiosity, outside of character, have any of y'all ever played a charisma-based character? Yeah, because yeah. y'all are doing lots of attacking. I I've only ever played um. Intimidation. I've only played clerics before, so. Well, this isn't a charisma-based well, character. Normally, I'm <laughs> no a play. sorcerer. I have played a charisma-based character before, but and normally I do, but I'm trying something different. Let's see. So, I'm sure our characters are the ones that don't fight. So, um, the offhand was low, so that would be a um, eleven for offhand, and okay. for the main hand was nineteen. Both of you still hit because you got a flanking bonus of plus two, and he's gonna be flat-footed because he's like surrounded at the moment. Okay, so I hit with both. You say. Yeah, and well, one, of course, is going to be sneak attack damage. Alright. Fourteen damage total. Cool. He just immediately sliced all the arteries that were in his legs. He's now bleeding out and dying. Yeah, super useful, Dad. Okay, so someone put their finger on him and put him to stabilize. Let's handcuff him and get the heck out of here. Sorry, let me do it as Frick. Someone get him alive and shackle. We get it. Go bye bye. Um. Can I use a survival check to bind wound on the guy who's bleeding out? Because I don't no, necessarily have any healing abilities. I just yeah, don't you have stabilize? It's basically if has stabilize. I prepared stabilize. Yeah, he only has he left. He's at negative ten. You killed him. Congratulations. I thought you said he was bleeding out. Yeah. You just drained everything in a matter of seconds. Frick doesn't know how strong he is. You know, Frick just ripped open a beast. Yeah. Leg. My ears go back, I start looking really pissed. Hopefully bringing him alive was optional. It was. You don't get paid. I thought the plan was to bring him alive. No, he was. He said he could get paid, right? Yeah, no, he, he was pushing. Yep. He was useful. Super useful. A lot of you. Just very impressive. Yep, you just heard a hobo. Frick, you're a fucking dumbass! I think sorry. You guys are all basically surprised about it. You get a chance to get you. Well, uh, so we have a round of no attacking us. All yeah, no, those you, other guys are tied away, right? You see a bunch of yelling out in the other yard. It's just bunch of angry yelling that that guy in front of you. Uh, 
Um, I guess I want to pick up or uh, search the dead guy real fast if I can. So that's what you can do at my house. He has a... He has a heavy mace on his hip and some now bloody as fuck leather armor. I guess I'm gonna grab the mace and haul ass because there's not a whole lot of point in us staying here with these people who are trying to kill us because we were only after this guy. I think we also need to bring back the dude's head to be just as being. I think that's something the guy said if we killed him. In ten minutes, we're well, stopping. Uh, that could be up to the idiot who chopped him. In my opinion. Okay. Okay. You cut his freaking femoral. You get his head. So, anyways. That was pretty much, um, Mother, mother Hubbard status as usual. Alright, uh, can I use my dog splicers to re- decapitate the, um, dead guy? Dead guy? Hey, thank you. Yeah. Okay, I will start doing so then. Well, yeah, I think Motorhead is the best name for this group. So, I, I think um, we should have actually just call it Unintentional Murder Hobos. <laughs> well, no, he's even fully intentional for that one. I was actually just trying to incapacitate his movement capability. <laughs> he was already killed in fucking gangbang by your entire group. I clearly <laughs> said that I just was trying to knock him out. I know you were. I actually well, didn't do anything. Did a dog ripped out his legs, and then a little goblin just ripped the rest of the legs apart. Kill the rest of the bandits. Might as well, if we're going to be murder hobos, let's just murder. Well, I'm sure they heard something. That was a lot of emotion. Just sure. saying. You gonna stay? Go in this pit. You gonna leave? Pack your shit and run off with the body. Ooh, I guess we can All run right, off the with the body. Alright, the cat has literally disappeared. It's long gone. You know, my bitches. Okay, the cat took Yeah, the, the, the wolf and the, the druid check are gone too, like, way gone. Okay. Wing in the street. Can help me with the, yeah. either getting the head off, or yeah. at least carrying the body. I'm leaving it. No, Frank is not an idiot. He'll just hide in the trees for a while until no one's paying attention. I think Frank is gonna hang out long as the... Rick, you have my... You, you, me and you have the same idea, right? What's your idea? Uh, kill the bandit camp and loot their horde. Look, 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 They're a bandit camp, they gotta have something good. Hey, I said that I was gone. I didn't say that I was, uh... You did. Said you were gone. I, I said I was gone. I've gone from the whatever scene, bloody mess you guys left. Well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that I was gone, gone. <laughs> well, if you only, if you only walk away from the mess, you all spell. Oh, okay. Then roll me in. Call me. Okay. 
you can get a nat one. Okay, nice. I'm rolling initiative, I guess. So I'm stomping around with like huge clown shoes in the forest. Yep. Let me roll your initiative. Seventeen. <laughs> Alright. So we're rolling initiative now. Yeah. Yeah, those are uh, intending to just, uh, fight. Yes. The thing is, you are all in the surprise round. You do not roll into the surprise round until it's over with just to see who dies. Uh, 24 initiative for Frick. I have 13 on initiative. Okay. Followed by Slug. John, are you going to roll initiative? Uh, I grabbed the dude's mace and boogie, but I guess I could stay and kill these guys. Oh, um, sure. Let me roll. You just said you were going to boogie. Oh, just Dennis, what was your roll? The weapon of the... Thirteen. Okay. Then we got an eighteen. I got an eight. Okay. Eight total? Hold on. I gotta find the thing. Okay, so I got a ten. John? Oh, uh, what? Your Sorry, role? Um, with yeah. Bishop. Twelve. What? All together. Twelve. Twelve? Um. Yeah, nine plus three. So that'd be twelve. Okay. So Frick is going first, followed by Splug, followed by Meowdy, followed by Heart. Followed by John. Followed by Bella. Alright. So, yes, next time I'm going to start getting ready to go and kill the completely entangled bandits in the clearing. Alright, um, I'm going well. to go, uh, kind of stealthy back into the bushes closest to the clearing where they would head towards where their boss is dead at now. Okay. Look at the clearing. Everyone is bound to basically the floor. Well, my um, stealth is 29 for that one. Oh my, my god. So you are just invisible. And I think we're going to leave it there. Alright. And I'm just... I'm going to hold, uh, hold attack action for any of them that come within striking range of me. That's going to be very difficult for them at the moment. That, I understand that. Because Bella's thing basically just found everyone on the floor or the rope. Yeah, they'll have to do like a... Pass a strength save or whatever. But if they still remain there after a period of time, I might charge, but... I'm not going to charge into the middle of the group. <laughs> I'm not a strength. <laughs> I don't have strength. I'm not going to be able to get through that stuff. And it's, hell, it's probably as tall as I am. 